Uh, hey YouTube, this is uh, Matthew Morgan making a <clears throat> making another YouTube video. This one has to do with you know worshiping Id idols and statues and images, and what God really meant when He said not to make any engraved images of anything in heaven on earth or in hell and do not worship it here's the thing god does not care what you worship or who why or for how long his only thing is whatever or whoever you worship make sure you know that that is who you are actually worshiping People say, the reason that God doesn't want you worshiping that stuff is because he's a jealous God. He don't want nothing or nobody coming before him. Here's the thing. God does not get jealous. He's not human. If you want to worship your car, your wife, your husband, material stuff, he don't care. You're on earth. You're a human. That's what you're going to do. But he just don't want it to destroy you. He doesn't want it to make you a bad person. He does not want it to turn you into someone he didn't create you to be, which is a corrupted, evil person that allows material stuff or people to change you from good to bad. Another thing... <clears throat> He doesn't want you worshiping idol stuff because you don't know if what you're worshiping or who you're worshiping is actually what or who you're worshiping. For example, Satanists. Y'all think y'all worshiping the devil, God's mad at you. That's your free will to worship the devil if you want. Just make sure you understand that is who you are worshiping. And just understand this. The title God is anything or anybody. It means dominion over you. Just so you understand who someone that controls everything you do and you believe in. Next thing. Praying to idols, praying to idols. God does not want you praying to no idol. Why? Because you don't know who or what you're actually praying to. And the motives that you're praying with might backfire on you, especially if they're bad. Like all these images of Buddha and Confucius and Mohammed and Jesus and Krishna and all the other ones that people pray to. Just a little history lesson. All them statues of prophets or whoever that you think is a god, they're not a god. They're what you call a angel that came to earth. Not Buddha and Confucius, but you know, all the other ones you think like Zeus or Shiva or whoever else you think might be a god is not. They are angels that fell from heaven and came down to earth. And since they were bigger and better and more powerful than human beings, they kind of came down here and told man that they're god and told man to war worship them. And since they were bigger and stronger and couldn't be stopped, that's what people did. And since uh, they could do what no man could do, they saw them as God and started worshiping them as God. Ugh. Was God upset? God don't get jealous. He knows who he is. He don't need to get jealous of nothing or anybody. Because remember, at the end of the day, you're going right back to him. So he has no jealousy about anything anyone does. But back to what I was saying. This whole praying to idols thing, 
you don't know who you are praying to. Because here's the thing, when you say you're praying to God, God is a title any entity or any deity, any deity could carry. Like, for example, Lucifer is considered a god. Buddha, to some people, is a god. Shiva, Krishna, Brahma, all of them are considered gods. Everyone has different gods. Well, here's the thing. Like I said in a previous video before, Lucifer is not the only de I mean the only entity that exists in the in you know in the darkest parts of eternity. He's not the only entity that hears what you pray for. Just like Jesus and God, they're not the only spirits of light that hear you. Lucifer and Jesus and God are not the only spirits throughout the universe that hear what you pray for and why you want it. So, if I was you, I'd be careful about that double motive stuff because that could come back to haunt you. Next thing, demons can jump into idols and grant your prayers to keep, you know, to cause you to keep worshiping them and following them. And because you cannot see them, you would not know who or what's in that statue that you made. Just like all these videos on YouTube about Jesus on the cross, blinking, the Virgin Mary's eyes, you know, crying blood and all this other stuff. A lot of that's just demons. Just, to, just so you understand. People think that stuff signs from the heavens. No. No, it's not. Everyone's just so easily fooled by signs that they fail realizing they forget that the Bible says that demons and Satan himself can cause great signs to show from the heavens. He don't even have to be on earth to do that. He could do that from hell. So can demons. They can come up on earth and do that at, at any time. But just so you understand. You're praying and worshiping idols and images that you have no idea who they are or what they're really about. Especially because you've technically never seen them or heard them. So, you're worshiping something you don't know nothing about. And you don't even know who or what you're really worshiping. So, I'm just saying. Careful who you're praying to, who you're worshiping, because you never seen who you're worshiping or who you're praying to. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. And God does not get jealous. He just doesn't want you getting deceived or lied to. He has no jealousy, no envy, or no wrath. He just plain don't want you to get lied to or just, you know, led astray by what you think you believe versus what's real. I'm out.